All right, I'm 32 years old. I'm five foot two. I weigh 200 pounds. Um, super smart and caring. Uh, all four holes are acceptable. Like, why am I still single? What is what is what is what is the fourth hole? What is the fourth hole? What are we what are we talking about right now? I'm confused. All right, I'm 32 years old. I'm confused. What, where is the fourth hole? It's three. Are we? Are we talking about the airs? The no? What? What? Where is the fourth hole? What are we talking about right now? You see how I cheated on you too, and you didn't find out. Then I just dressed and crashing up. Very cutesy. Very mindful. Not say very demure. You see how she you know you Oh my god. Y'all just be overusing this damn word. But yes, your girl will do some dirt and you will never find out. I believe ladies are better cheaters than men. I believe ladies know how to cover their tracks better than men. Us guys like to keep souvenirs. That's how a lot of niggas get caught. Because they keeping souvenirs. They keeping text messages. They keeping pictures. Videos. Your girl ain't keeping no souvenirs. You know what? If she keep a souvenir, it might be some little shit that you probably wouldn't even notice. Oh boy, might buy her some shoes. And you might think she bought it with your money. She gonna wear it in your face and you are not gonna think about it. Us on the other hand, what we get out the situation? You snuck you a video when you was hitting it from the back. Now you got that in your phone and you gonna get caught. Hmm. What's your body count? I don't have an exact number. I have an idea. R range is fine. Um, probably somewhere between 50 to 60. What's your body count? I don't have an... 50 to 60 what? 50 to 60 what? Ooh, uh, um, I ain't gonna say nothing crazy. I ain't gonna say nothing crazy. Uh-uh. This is a test. This right here was a test, and I'm gonna pass. Um, young lady, if your body count is 50 to 60, um, congratulations. You'll never be satisfied if you keep fishing. Mm. Well, if I need to fish, I know where to find you. Yeah, I won't be there always. My name is Mike, I'm 41. I'm a doctor. Okay. Okay. Damn. Get your back. Stop doing what you doing. Yo, hold on, bro. Why they pop off of him being a doctor? So if he said he was a drug dealer, which y'all that kept the balloon, isn't a doctor something you, you would want? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you like to get your balloon back? I don't know. I kind of want to see what else is there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. He just see what's in the ocean. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's all good, though. You'll never be satisfied if you keep fishing. Mm. Well, if I need to fish, I know where to find you. Yeah, I won't be there always. Okay. No, nobody's better than me. Nobody's better than me. Like, I mean, that's what I heard. That's, that's how most women in today's society tend to think. There's always going to be somebody better than me. Somebody good enough. That's true. If you faking your career, I ain't jacking that. People have too many options. When you have too many options, it becomes a problem. I ain't saying he's the perfect guy because he's a doctor, but I feel as though that would more than qualify him. Don't you ladies want a provider? So basically, my baby daddy met my mom at a club, and he cheated on me and then had a baby with her too afterwards. So that's what happened. That's him. So basically... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Ain't no way. Certain things I feel as though we need to keep off the internet. Some of our family drama we need to keep off the internet. So, your little brother is also your stepchild. On the flip side, your mother's stepchild is also her grandson. Make it make sense. Do you have a hidden talent? Yeah, I do. My tongue is long as f Like, it could touch the bottom of my chin, and it could touch the ends out of my nose. How wanna see? <laughs> Uh-huh. And then I could touch the inside of my nose. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm a freak.
freak. Damn. Do you have a hidden tab? Fellas, what would you do with this piece of information? What would you do? Have you ever had a woman that could wrap her tongue around? I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. That right there is a generational talent. But my parents gave me the pretty that came with the kill switch. They said, in case of emergency, if you need to ever not be pretty again, use this. And this is the one. <laughs> this is my kill switch. <laughs> but my parents gave me the... Yo, this bitch said her pretty came with a kill switch. If that ain't the most diabolical thing I've ever heard, that is insane, but I ain't gonna hold you. That might be what you might look like in the future. Y'all ever be around females and then you see their moms and it just be like, hell no, off of looking at their moms? I used to do that shit when I was in school, bro. I used to judge people's parents. I used to be like, damn, somebody hit that. Some of the chicks that I used to think was fine as hell and then I'll see their mother, I'll be like, but that was me being immature. You wanna know something? I didn't smoke yesterday. You heard me? I've been smoking since I was 15. I ain't smoked no bud yesterday. Rob an eight days sober. I ain't smoked in like a year and a half. Holla at me. I ain't smoked in like a year and a half, gang. Now, honestly, I can tell you why I stopped smoking. One, it was because of the job, but two, every time I smoked, I did not like what I was thinking about. It felt as though smoking pulled me closer into depression. When I first started smoking, it was a part of my creative process. When I was doing music, I chief up a little bit, write my verse, record it, edit, and you know, it, it added to my productivity. Then I started doing videos, it was the same. If you go back, if you go back about three to four years on my YouTube channel, right? and look at those videos in the past, you can tell that I was high out my mind. What y'all didn't realize though, is I was depressed as shit. Mentally, I was defeated. And then I started depending on the Mary Jane. I thought Mary Jane was helping me, but she wasn't. And here's the crazy thing. I'll smoke, then I'll eat, then I'll sit here, and I can't think of nothing, so I figure I didn't smoke enough, so I'll smoke again, then I'll go eat some more. Now, if you, you know, you see me, you see that I've gained some weight. If you look back from then to how I look now, I definitely have gained some weight. I'm in the process of losing it, though. Don't sleep. My eight-pack is coming back. But all I can say is, bro, for a lot of us, we might think that that marijuana is helping us, but it's not. <laughs> I'd be mad as hell. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to say. Like, is this a real video? And if this is a real situation and you actually kick somebody out the train, now what would have happened if the door open back up. That's my first thought. But then after I seen my man's take his shoe and his jacket off, you know what, he probably did that out of anger. Cause common sense would tell you it's a wrap. Once that train get to moving, it ain't gonna stop for you. This grounds for an assassination. Like, don't do no stuff like that. To, you do something like that to the wrong person, dog, and they end up seeing you again, it's a wrap. More than likely, if you on that train, you don't have a car. So imagine doing this and you got to go back and take the same train again. How stupid is that? As big as the earth is, it's still a small place for people that do evil shit. Are you serious? Are you serious? No, 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 no. None of this would happen if you said, Mom, I'm going to fucking Italy. Go, 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 go. Bye bye. Really? Say bye, everyone. Go, go. Get the car. I don't think I've ever 
said this on YouTube, but I used to run away a lot. This was actually the reason why I went to live with my mother. Because when I was living with my grandparents, my grandparents couldn't control me. It wasn't like I was running away doing bad things. I used to live in Latas St. Patrick's in Grenada. And they had this acrobat group. And the dude that ran the group, his name was Gugga. I used to run away to be in that group. You know, we used to flip and, you know, I used to do backflips and, and um, handstands and all them type of things. But the only bad part about it is I was never able to do none of the shows because, you know, I wasn't supposed to be in the class. So that's one thing I used to run away to do. Then I used to make a lot of kites. Let me tell y'all something. When it comes to making kites, I was a savage. I used to run away with my friends. We used to go by this beach. And when the fishermen used to like have their old nets that they didn't want to use anymore, we used to go there, grab the nets, and we used to un undo the strings, ball them up, and then now we have enough strength to make kites. These are all things I used to do when I used to run away, bro. It, I wasn't running away to, you know, do anything bad. We used to go catch crabs and cook. You feel me? So I, I used to run away to go have cookouts. You feel me, bro? But the bad thing about it is, think about it now. When I'm doing this, I'm probably six years old, right? Six or seven years old. And my grandfather used to have to come find me because it would be like nine o'clock at night and my grandfather used to have to come find me. And to this day, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm sad about it because I don't feel as though I really got a chance to spend quality time with my with my grandfather. I can give you enough one example. It was one time, oh, my grandfather's name, they called him Colon. That used to be his name. His real name is Eugene, but they used to call him Colon. That's how, that's how he was known in my community, as Colon. So it was one time I ran away, and I'm watching a movie at my neighbor's house, and then somebody saw my grandfather coming, so they was like, hey, Colon coming for you, Colon coming. So, bro, I... <laughs> The house where I was at by, was by the community center, so I ran behind the community center, I climbed up a tree, and like I watched my grandfather walk by. Then once he got far enough, I climbed down a tree and ran home. Of course, when I got home, I got, I got some licks, you know what I'm saying? I got some licks. They, they used to pull out that tambourine branch, and... And it didn't matter how much licks I got, bro. I still ran away the next day. And honestly, I see why they sent my ass to, to live with my mother. I was out of control. As a Caribbean man, I can say that I don't eat fish head. This is not far-fetched for people that lived on the island I'm from. They eat fish head. We used to fry jacks, and they used to eat the whole thing, including the eyes. And you know, the eyes is bitter as hell. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 what you doing? What you doing? What are you doing? You're not supposed to... Look how she looking at him. I'll look at him the same way. Bro. He's dead ass. He he swallowed that shit. You know in America they fillet a lot of fish. They give the little, you know, the little patties of fish. But for those of y'all who've dealt with real fish, you do understand that that bone will f some shit up in your mouth. 